Hello and welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing of the Tonic Studios craft kit. This one is called Winter Advent Starbucks and as usual I've already unpacked um, a lot of this just to make it easier to show. So uh, let's go through some of the new stuff. So there's Baker's Twine and I think this is a full roll. So there's French blue in striped uh, Baker's Twine and it's 25 meters so you get quite a lot. Um, then I haven't seen this before and I don't know if um, it must be available uh, for sale kind of in this size bottle I'm guessing. I've just never looked for it so I've, I've never really seen it but this is gemstones in water droplets and it's um, kind of got that teardrop or water drop shape but on the surface, it's actually it's actually faceted, so it does kind of look like a gemstone, which is really neat. And then I got um, silver tinsel sequins and blue dusk glitter. The glitter does have a little bit of an iridescent finish to it because I can sort of see hints of green and. Um, and this seems like a purplish blue to me. I don't know if that's just my eyes or um, or if there actually is any purple in there. And then in terms of the sequins, this looks like a very matte silver. It almost looks like sort of brushed metal, that sort of finish. So that's something that's a little bit different. I'm, I'm used to like a really kind of bright and shiny silver. So having this is um, kind of nice just to mix it up a little bit. Then we get um, glitter accents in fresh snowfall. And I think this is going to be fun for creating sort of snow drift effects or putting snow on flowers or uh, trees, like other die cuts like that, because you can just draw it on. So I think that'll be a really fun thing to experiment with. And then we have, I already have this. So this is a vintage drop in chalk stick. So I actually might put this aside for a giveaway because I don't know when I'll need to open a second bottle. So um, I'd rather this go to somebody who could, you know, put it to use right away. Um, but I love vintage drops. So, um, so I was happy to see it. Then we also get a mini pot of glacier paste in winter white. And you can kind of see all that shimmer from I think it's crushed mica that um, is in um, glacier paste so I could be wrong on that but I think that's what it is it's really pretty um, in any case so it'll be really fun to play with that as well and something else that's new to me now I know that I purchased uh, kits that were out of the vault sale, um, I think it was last year or so. I just haven't crafted with those yet, but I know that I do have some alcohol markers. This is the new, the new alcohol markers that they've, um, recently, well, I don't know how recent it is now, but, um, I don't know if the formulation of the ink is different or if it's just the form factor of, uh, the marker barrel or, um, or what, but these are the new ones that, um, they have. And what's nice though, and this may have always been the case, I don't know, but, um, what I noticed is that you can actually buy the Nouveau markers in a variety of different ways. So you can get the markers individually. So that's really nice if there's a particular color that you use a lot of and you just need to replace the one marker, then you can do that without having to buy a full set of markers and getting duplicates of colors that maybe you don't use so often. Then you can buy them in sets of three like they've given us in this kit and presumably um, these three will blend nicely together and the numbering system would seem to suggest that. So we've got 425, 427, 429 and the markers also have individual names too. So uh, Skylight Blue, Forget Me Not Blue and Baritone Blue. I haven't colored with these yet so I don't know how well they blend but if you do like to do your coloring where you've got a little bit of shadow, a little bit of highlight. 
it would seem that these three are chosen so that they blend nicely together. So I think they'll be really fun to um, play with. And then you get two um, tips. So on the one end is a bullet nib and on the other end is a um, chisel tip. So lots of different um, um, markers have different tips. I actually really like using my Ohuhu markers, which I have a color swatching video of. I'll link to that video in the upper right hand corner in case you want to see that. Um, I use those predominantly when I do alcohol marker coloring because they are an affordable option for me, for one. And second, um, they actually have a brush tip instead of the bullet nib tip. So with a brush tip, it's um, similar to Copic markers in that way. And it allows you to kind of do those sort of flicking technique coloring styles where you can add that sort of detail for things like fur or hair or anything that sort of has a texture to it because it can give you those really fine uh, brush marks. Um, I think that, you know, these are going to color beautifully, but I've just never tried them before. So it, I was really happy to see them in the kit because I don't, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have purchased uh, any Nouveau alcohol markers on my own, but I'm still really curious to try them out just to see how they compare. And, um, oh, also speaking of, I just never finished my thought on, uh, the different ways that you can purchase them. So you can buy them in a, in a trio like this, and then you can also buy them in sets of 24. And I think during their birthday week, not too long ago, they were actually selling a bundle of three different 24 packs. So I think there are three different collections of 22 markers and 72 markers in total. So, um, the more markers you buy, you know, the larger the bundle, the better price point you're going to get per marker. But it is nice that you can buy them individually to kind of refill ones that you go through, um, quickly, or you can buy them in these, um, sets of three so that you already have colors that will blend well together. So I think that's, um, that's really cool that you can do that and you have so many different buying options. Then we have um, the papers, which this month, I think we get a couple extra sheets than we, uh, more than we typically do. So we have classic card in bright white. We've got classic card in Arctic blue. Classic card in French blue, which was the name of the twine. And you can see how well these go together. Then we get, I think this is sort of the bonus here. We have two cards in um, their smooth white 300 GSM. So this is thicker than their classic card. And um, it's smooth, like super smooth on both sides. So this would be really good for stamping and coloring. And I'm guessing that's why they've included it because alcohol marker coloring is... Um, really, um, you get a really nice outcome when you stamp on a really smooth surface. So I think this is going to be really nice to stamp and color on. And also because it's 300 GSM, it's a good weight for construction as well. And since the die set is, um, designed to create a star box, um, this would also be good for creating sort of the base for your box too. So that's really nice. And just um, to show the difference, so the smooth um, white on the right here, this is in A4 size. So it's slightly more narrow than US letter and slightly longer than US letter. So the dimensions are a little bit different. And then just to compare the two whites. So on the right here, this is the smooth. Uh, 300 GSM white card, and then this is the bright white um, classic card. So I would say, um, you know, there's a noticeable difference, but you probably wouldn't be using them side by side with each other. Um, 
and I think it's just a personal preference also what you um, like better in terms of the color, the texture, and if you're you know using it um, for a particular purpose like stamping and coloring or construction. So one might be better than the other just depending on how you're, you plan on using it. Then you've got the pearlescent card in Caribbean Sea. We have two iridescent mirror cards, which I think is also a little bit different. Um, so we have this first one in Hollow Waves. This might be the only one that I don't have a full pack of. And then this one is in Marina Mist. Then we get um, Glitter Card in Silver Screen. And the specialty paper this month is in Hailstorm. And I've seen this um, sort of embossed pattern before, but I don't think I've seen it in this color, which is a really nice um, blue. So those are the papers that we get. Then um, moving into the wallet with the stamps and dies. This is always sort of um, what I look forward to the most. And um, this is really cool. So going through the dies first, you have this large die, which you'll um, just like most other box constructions from Tonic, you'll cut two and uh, to make a single box. Um, but when it, what I remember from the reveal video of this kit is that um, it's a really cool style box that can also collapse down flat if you want it to um, make a bunch, store them flat, and then um, when you're ready to fill and give them out, then you can kind of pop them back up to give them their dimension and then um, give them out. Or you could even, because they will fold down flat, my thought is you could even create like a set of these to give as a gift and just put them, you know, make a little um, kind of square gift box for them and then maybe just like you know make five of them or so with some little tags to match and um and then just give it out as a set of gift boxes that somebody can use so um a lot of benefits to having a box construction that can fold down flat, which is kind of neat. Uh, and in true tonic style, all of the mats and layers, we get a lot of different options for decorating the five points of the star. So each of these star points is the same uh, size and shape triangle, but we get different designs and different um, borders for each. So this one is sort of um, like a star design in the verso die in the center and then we have a uh, plain straight edge on the outside this one is a straight edge on the outside cut but it looks like there's a um, debossed line that goes around the border and this is a straight cut with a stitched line uh, border and that looks like straight stitching it's not their sort of wonky stitch then we have the scalloped border and here we have a straight line border with the um, pierced um, border design and anytime I see the pierced border or any sort of kind of piercings like these I always think about using the dot and drop technique because you can always use those piercings as um, a place where you can put your Nuvo drops. So that's always an option. And then, of course, you get the different Verso dies, each die cutting a different pattern into your um, paper. And because they're separate like that, you have so many different options because you can die cut the Verso pattern straight into the box. You can die cut it into its own layer and back it with um, just a solid cut of the border. So... Um, always lots of options which I love uh, from Tonic because they always give you sort of the most versatility in all of their designs and you can even if you don't want to use the Verso dies you can always use the outline die to cut out of pattern paper and get your design and patterning from paper as well. On the inside we have something similar but you have even more nested layers and um, patterns. So you, we have the um, penta 
uh, pentagon with the straight cut. And then the next die in looks like it also has an outline uh, cut. So I think, yeah, it's on the inside, it doesn't have its um, inner aperture, the inner um, outline, but it does have the outside line. So that will cut out a full piece um, and have that nice decor decorative sort of um, pattern to it. And then on the inside, you've got a star, which is the outline or the inner aperture for um, the pentagon. And then you have a star verso die that just cuts out a little pattern there. So a few different options there as well. And then we even get some snowflakes in three different designs. We have a six point snowflake. And then this one I think is an eight point snowflake. Then on the second sheet of um, dies, we do get the instructions for how to put together the Starbucks. So you're never um, left hanging when it comes to construction, especially it, when it's something that may not be totally obvious. So they do have full step-by-step -step instructions with diagrams, but in terms of the die set, we get full numbers zero through nine. And it is kind of nice that the six and the nine are separate dies, even though it does kind of look like, you know, one is just the other one turned upside down. But it'll make die cutting a lot faster, especially if you're doing advent calendars, to be able to um, die cut all 10 numbers, you know, a couple times through so that you have uh, all the numbers that you need as opposed to the having one die for that has to double for your six and your nine. So it just saves you a little bit of time. But if you're like me and you make a lot of advent calendars for the holidays, then Every little bit of time you can save is um, well worth it. So then we have this other triangle, which um, does decorate another side to your star box, but it's the side that um, makes a triangle once you connect the two halves of um, the die cut. So that's not completely obvious uh, to just look at it, but um, I do remember seeing that in the reveal um, video from Tonic. And then the pattern, the verso pattern inside here is sort of a uh, stars and moon kind of pattern. And then we have this sort of ornament shape here, which could be really cute as a little tag too. So you could make, I mean, it's kind of big scale wise, I guess, for the Starbucks, but for um, other larger presents that you might be giving out, I think this would be kind of cute as um, a little tag for it. And then you get the um, two different mats and layer dies to cut with that. So the middle one here has that nice kind of stitched border design. This die here, I think, is so that you can um, turn your Starbucks into an ornament and you could. Um, put some string through the loop here and have that be how to hang your ornament. And then we get just a cute little candy cane die as well. So I love that they try to squeeze in as, as much as possible um, on their die sets and give us a lot of little extras to decorate our box with. Then in terms of the stamp set, we have, um, some really fun ones actually, because usually they have their, sentiments, but usually I don't think I've seen them, at least not very often, with images or, or you know, graphics um, incorporated into the stamp. So this reads Merry Christmas, but it also has Santa flying through the sky with reindeers and some clouds. And then this one here has winter wishes with trees and uh, snowflakes. And this one is really super cute. So this one is um, North Pole delivery with Santa and a reindeer sort of negative image in the center. This would be really cute for outside an envelope or um, or um, maybe even on a gift tag. So that's really cute. And then we also have hugs and kisses, which you know, doesn't even have to be holiday themed. Um, joy, Noel, peace, and some um, sparkles. And then the large stamp here is uh, sort of a stained glass design with bells, 
which you could see using the bells for a uh, wedding themed card as well. And it looks like this is an option for um, for decorating the inside of your or the center of your star box. So instead of using the dies to get your patterning and um, decorative elements through die cutting, you could stamp in color and um, maybe the die, I think the, the largest die here might even be sized so that it can cut out this pattern too, or the stamp damage. So that's really cool. Um, and obviously with the star box, it, there isn't anything specifically Christmas about it. Um, there are some uh, Verso dies that are sort of winter themed, like this one could be a little bit more of a um, snowflake. But otherwise, you know, a star is very general purpose, so you could use it in uh, for a multitude of occasions and uh, gift giving, like maybe somebody, um, just achieves something really great and you can give them like a gold star um which would be kind of cute this would be like a really big gold star and then fill it with some candies or something so i think that's kind of cool um i love that um we get so many different ways to sort of decorate it and and make it our own and you know not necessarily have it be winter or anything to do with advent calendars or um, Christmas or anything at all. Certainly it can be used for that, but um, but I really think that this is a very general purpose um, die set. So very cool. So that is my um, unboxing. And when I craft with this kit, I'll be sure to link to that project at the end of this video. Thank you so much. And until my next video, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.